This is Bootstrap Algebra preparation to teach um, section 15. Last time we did compact inequalities. So let's see where we are. Courses, algebra. Did I say compact? Compound inequalities. So we combined in inequalities where we kept um, Sam the butterfly in um, Sam's own yard using, um, well, let's look and see. So combined inequalities and protecting both sides of the screen. Right, so we, we uh, already had a safe left and a safe right that could tell whether Sam was off the screen to the left or off the screen to the right. And we finally got the on-screen function to work correctly um, by checking uh, safe left and a straight safe right. So we use the Boolean data type, um, and we now have some Boolean functions to go along with those, such as and. So now we're going to look at piecewise functions, which is uh, usually an algebraic term, not a, um, uh, you know, not something we necessarily think about programs working that way, but we're going to have to have some kind of branching logic. So let's get the slides. Store those. Into this is going to be zero fifteen or not zero fifteen 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 let's now put that look here we should have it I don't see it here let's refresh I still don't so hit. did I not store that in the right location or is it just off the screen no, it's not off the screen. Okay, let's try all of that again. Lesson slides. Make a copy. And let's rename it first. If anybody's actually watching this, you probably saw right away what I did. I just don't see it. My dry, bootstrap on algebra. It's hidden. I guess the drive thing is off the screen and I can't see it. I used enter. Close that. Close that. There it is. Good. Not every function is smooth. Hopefully, we'll have a. Should we have? We could have a graph of a non-smooth function. That would have been good. Because if you've had algebra, you've seen this. Um, you've seen graphs of piecewise functions.
Yeah, let's go ahead and just look at images. Yeah, we can just show that, I think. Before I wasn't showing my bookmarks, so we won't do that. Okay, it's not showing there. Not showing there. Good. All right. Let's see. So we'll show what you know. Regardless of piecewise function looks like, and the box of candy costs two dollars each. Drops the box of candy. The graph is no longer a straight line. Okay, the slope suddenly ch suddenly changes. That's a suddenly changing slope. We can think about it. All right, complete Alice's restaurant. We'll make that uh, do it in class. Doesn't quite fit. It's close enough. What function was being defined there? What was the contract? Explore. Okay, so we have two different Alice's restaurant functions. All right, and we'll do this in class. And we'll make this to do. Okay. So let's look at. Alice's starter file. Oops, which we didn't want to do there. I want to go into Wii Scheme. Don't have it there. So let's see. Right click. Copy. Okay, it's a function called cost, takes in a string and a number, and inside here we have cond. Do we talk about cond anywhere? We didn't talk about it before. I guess this is our chance to talk about it. Okay, good. Have students spend some space. Vertical line test. piecewise, the students just hacked it out, OK, 
Okay. Okay. Here's that thing. Starter. Welcome to Alice's Restaurant on page 48. Okay. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Familiar things, unfamiliar things, which matches up with uh, Okay. Okay. Good. Cond else. General look of the order function. Cond. General look. What is it? The order function is also a piece of function. The order function. Did I? There's cost. I don't see an order function. Okay, do we have another? Not there. Uh, let's go explore. Cost, 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 cost. I don't see an order function. Welcome to Alice's Restaurant. Okay. Guess maybe they changed it. It's not called order anymore. It's called cost. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they changed the name of it. Yeah, there's no cost. Okay, it used to be. It's a piecewise function. Uh, because takes in cost. Okay. Order function is also piece of Explore. Sales tax. Cost. Okay. What uh, does this say about cost hamburger? Once you experimented, try using the sales tax function with some inputs. Uh, here's sales tax. Define sales tax. Okay. Okay. Explore. Cost, cost, cost. Explain. Yeah, good, good. Change cost. Try adding. Including a 5% sales tax. Good. Cool. So just a little weirdness in the fact that um, they changed the name, didn't update the, this uh, thing yet. Okay, let's go on to the regular video.